Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV and today we're doing the Cars Land Cup series here at Pocono. This is the third and final round of the round of 12. Uh, after this race the playoff field will be cut down to 8. Then uh, shoot out for the last four races of the season in the next four uh, weeks. Uh, next week though, uh, schedule real quick. This week is Le Mans. Uh, that is going to be a very long and arguably boring race. Both are probably be the same. So only every race to the round of eight, that's probably going to be worth trying at. Unless you're able to come and clutch it. Le Mans and Bathurst is probably going to be Atlanta, which is going to be the Super Speedway version. But regardless, let's go ahead and get into today's event because we still have the round of 12 to worry about. Uh, we're going to eliminate four after today, so... Some of it may come down to when I update points, and some of it may be so obliviously obvious that it'll take some to look at. So, <coughs> uh, pardon me. Uh, it looks like Brad Stover going to get a second straight pull. Uh, they, they have an opportunity to go two in a row here. And then also starting in front is Joy Paints, who is looking to sweep the Pocono races of the season, and also Ty Barn and Thurston III, who's starting right behind her, ironically, for most wins of the season with four in... I remember that Barnthurst the third looking to uh, extend his record for the NR side of this series anyway with uh, more than four wins. No one's had more than three wins this season. He just broke that uh, with his fourth uh, at Papyrus a couple weeks back. Uh, he's trying to get one number five. Today could be that day. But... Those are non-playoff guys. Highest starting playoff driver, though, is Quadruped in fourth. And, uh, ironically, uh, we do have... That is the only car in the field locked into the next round. So, they are looking very consistent and composed to quite possibly do the, uh, quote, Mickey Mouse Championship. Uh, uh once again, uh, I guess you could say. They did it last season for NNCCRS, and this season they're trying to do for cup um in terms of wins right now uh this entire playoffs is looking very uh mickey mouse but that's when you give a system like this nccrs is a little bit better about that but we already had our two best drivers of the season eliminated in the round of 16 unfortunately because <sighs> stupid point systems so that's that but um regardless we still have a championship fight for here this season and right now we have a few above above the cut line, a few below. Uh, let's talk about the ones below real quick. Dripsy Scheib, our senior points champion, and the one with the most wins in the playoffs with three. Starting the mid-pack, they are looking okay-ish. They are too to bad. They'll have to do do something. And then starting right next to him is uh, a car they need to finish in front of by two points is Dark X Rain. So very tight battle for that uh, cut line. And then... Zion, who is only 14 of the goods, starting pretty far back. And uh, the 22, Dale Paulus Jr., who is 15 back. And also 15 back is George Fogelman. And they are also starting right next to each other, back pretty far back in the pack. But as for uh, NH, not too comfortable either. But really the only cars I think are, and I'd say decent shape, is uh, maybe Sean or might be able to, cook something you'll need to but uh uh it looks like brandon nelson qualified well uh so he's again it's just qualified we'll see how the race goes but uh brandon nelson thermalex gaming crazy bgd surprisingly who's been had a very calm playoffs and no gaming cricket maybe as we're gonna go ahead and go to command get these engines started drivers Start your engine! <coughs> 32 laps for today's Pocono. Uh, it, not a day race, it's a night race. Um, flirted with the setup as best as I could. Uh, we'll see what it cooks. I do have a few concerns, but we'll see what happens. Make sure to check with the chat, make sure we don't have any mechanical issues. Looks like everyone's good. Again, 32 laps. You also got Riley Gore starting in the front row. NCCRS regular trying to get dip his feet in the Cup Series. Uh, so it goes for him. 
Oh, uh, don't, forgot to mention, I am soloing this. Uh, so, yeah. uh, Brad Stover, we're going to lead him to the green. 32 laps here at Pocono. Brad Stover leading into turn one, and hopefully uh, we can go green for a few laps here. I, I don't think it's going to be too bad, but we'll see. Team one of Salamander Inc. cars, Kazo, up here trying to defend second from teammate. Wow, okay, Martha III third already sending it. Wow, okay. Uh, uh, okay. He isn't wasting any time, but Kazo trying to lead his first laps uh, since Auto Club. He has had a very topsy turvy season. Won two races last year at a Arguably okay car had a round 16 exit and unfortunately didn't really quite have a, a guard of a year last uh, this year, but uh, Despite being in my opinion very fast. He just hasn't had the runs the timing or the luck needed to be where he wants to and uh, he might have that today with his teammate uh, Joy paints right behind him and then uh, Barry Thresher third he is cooking right now I'll see what he does. But Brad Stover holding his own on the top lane. We may see three wide for the lead here with Barney Thresher the third. Going to send it in deep. And he will. Barney Thresher the third. Despite uh, our, I'm going to say here, garbage playoff system is uh, definitely the deserving champion right now. But, uh, oh no, car in the wall, quadruped, the big one. I think. Oh, huge crash. The 51 of Yoiko. Caution's out. Four wide and a turn one did not work. And defending winner Joy Paints uh, involved, but looks like uh, just a little bit of cosmetic damage from the looks of it. Oh, quite a bit of rear end damage I'm seeing. Dark X Rain was also involved, but it appears to be minimum, abysmal for that 24. Is they're going to race to the yellow here, which I may have to get rid of that rule because uh, it's kind of an issue. Kind of scary watching these guys race back. But uh, coming back to the yellow, it should be, uh, I believe, Brad Stover taking the No, it uh, might have been uh, Barry Thresher III actually taking the lead to the yellow. As he actually will. Uh, Barry Thresher III, your leader. Just talking about him. Look for win number five. So. Uh, we're going to make it three laps, under, or two laps under green, and uh, there we go. So let's see what happened here. Um, coming into turn one, so no quadrupeds involved, so he's not really concerned, but he was still looking for a good day nonetheless, being locked in and all, but we know Yoiko had some pretty heavy damage there, so let's see what kind of happened here. So, four wide doesn't work, it looks like Jet 07 sent it in deep. Uh... This, uh, I don't really know who Will was involved in this. I just, it, it looked big, but overall, I think most everyone was successful in avoiding it. But yeah, 21 came up in the one. Uh, didn't give any room, really. And wrecked themselves, 51, 45. Um, uh, the 20 had some damage. The only play after I ever see really heavily involved in this was the one, but they're locked in pretty much. Uh, BGD and uh, Brandon Elson were able to avoid. Again, I say a very, very close avoidance. As Bert Curran Jr. You see there might be right in the wall a little bit. We'll have to analyze that. Sean R with a little bit of damage. I only see a little bit of damage to the 20. That's just bad avoidance skill. Bobby Isaac had a bad crash here in the spring. I get involved. Uh, Dark X Rain. Who man. Uh the eighty two's involved. You know when you're only two above the cut line and that is wreck avoidance of style of that nature. So um we'll see our uh total wreck list after this. Uh it's quite an odd crash. Um, we know the 51's done probably. Unfortunate. That would be their uh, that'd be their 14th DNS season for that 51 team. Had a very rough two years in the Cup Series. 
But yeah, Dark X Rain, uh, he did go to Pit Road. I, uh, I imagine he may have gotten some front end damage there somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing a little bit of front end. Maybe a little bit of back end. But he's still in it. He's still running. Not running great, which is kind of concerning for his playoff hopes. But we've seen those uh, those two Dodge Team Motorsports cars in all the third, the 20th, third, and likes of gaming. Who's got a heavy damage? Our spring uh, second place finner, finisher. Funny, I remember that. Eli the Wolf has no front end. The 82 has no front end, and they were kind of comfortable coming in. Um, just to give you an idea, they were. Uh, so the 20 is 22 to the good, and the 82 is 18 to the good. So not really comfortable now. The 71 also some pretty heavy damage. The 60, 24 uh, still running, and the 1 still running. I'm going to try to keep the 82 and the 20 on track as long as possible, but we may have to DNF some guys, uh, specifically the 71 and the uh, carb in front of him, not the 24, but that happens. Um, so the 59 going to take the lead here. Let's go ahead and uh, check our standings, make sure. So out of the race, Joy Paints, unfortunately, uh, not able to continue despite the cosmetic damage not looking bad. The actual damage is pretty pretty bad uh this 82 is gonna score around here uh that isn't quite up to date yet but uh the 21 and birch crown jr the arguable cause of that accident jonah burge who's had a lackluster season yoiku has had the same uh zevil who's had a rough year as well had a win at watkins Glen, and then part-time driver again just gone He's had a, actually a lot of good runs in the Cup Series, to be honest, but uh, he sure wouldn't it. And unfortunately, also got eliminated from the NCTRS playoffs after this race. Uh, they ran. He just didn't quite have as good a year as everyone else as he did the year prior, but still a pretty strong NCTRS driver. We'll see what he does next year. Um, we're not going to go green this time, but make sure the field's where they need to be. Uh, Bird's that other car, actually in consideration of getting manually removed and the 60 of Cody Forge. Uh, just a lot of rough races for those guys. <coughs> and again, um, well, I guess we don't need to worry about that. They, they didn't make it like three laps in our green. So, uh, no playoff drivers out of the race, uh, even with the one car being involved, the, the 20 and a few others, but this now coming down to where it's looking like... Uh, I won't really know a lot of who's going to be where in playoff standings until I update standings. Dark X Rain not looking good at the moment. Uh, neither is. Uh, as for the 97 and the 03 and the 67, that's going to be for when I update points. At the moment, it's what it's looking like because it's hard to confirm stuff during the race because you don't know who's going to finish where, who's going to lead laps, who's not. But speaking of, Barney Thresh the third has proven to be really the the boss of the series at this, at this rate. Um, four wins, missed the round of 16, just a couple bad races, and then the third race of that round, uh, ran out of gas, putting out a yellow in the late in the race. It, it was just a bad race overall, and uh, hopefully he's doing well now. Uh, funny enough, though, uh, with the one involved in the accident, unfortunately, uh, they, were, they probably could have got a win, which would have less Mickey ties their championship if they did get it. Um, NH the introvert. Uh, he is the highest running playoff driver now in 7th. Right behind him, Courage BGD and Brandon Nelson, but I don't want to say too much. Don't want to cause too much commentator jinx. I know that's kind of been a concern of mine all season long, especially now in the playoffs, so I won't discuss too much of the playoff guys where they're running at the moment, but just, just watch for those uh, blue banners, and let's hope there's a uh, few wrecks from now on, and hopefully no playoff drivers involved in any of them. As we are going to go green this time, double file starts are enabled, so uh, we haven't seen any issues in the NCCRS race, so the 40 should be safe to go on the restart. Funny enough, these guys, they, they, they had a little bit of battle for their Rookie of the Year uh, stuff last year. I think Kazo ended up getting Rookie of the Year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, with Bernie Thresher winning only Indianapolis and uh, got robbed <laughs> at Texas uh, last year. But I wouldn't say got robbed, just got the last lap, or last couple lap pass and just couldn't quite get it put together. But um, I'll see what happens here. Uh, the 40, again, just got to make sure they don't jump the start. And 
again, like I've said, the 40 car has been definitely a, a, a one to watch all season long. It just has not had a contending circumstances um, all year. And I'm hoping they can get a win out maybe. Maybe today. We'll see what happens. Two playoff drivers in the top five, both of which third and fourth. And full center of death. Green flag back out here at Pocono Night, and Akazo going to get a little bit of an edge there. Not a jump, however. Seeing the box in the back going to go low. Looks like he's going to get past with that maneuver. We'll see what happens for that. Hopefully not an issue with AI, and hopefully there's no more wrecks with the clogging up the field and whatnot. We'll see how it all figures out and stacks, but uh, also I forgot to note the 89 is last week's winner, and three of the... Wood Brothers cars have won the season, all except for Jenna Burge, who unfortunately won't win today because he's got DNF'd in that first caution. 40 cars got to run on the top. The 59 has the bottom. We'll see if who is going to get the advantage here off of four, get that lap led. Statistically speaking, Kazo needs it more, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Barney Thrush third gets it. Are they going four wide and a one again for the lead? Oh, no. Okay. Barney Thresher saves it. Gets a little tailwind from the 20, I think the 16, maybe the 28. I'm not 100% sure, but that'll um, be something to analyze for sure. I don't want to get too comfortable with how these guys are racing up here. We're going to... Take a look and see how far back cars are falling back. The 18 currently uh, be under watch growing manual race removal. They're four seconds back. We'll see how much they fall back per lap. Uh, I won't, I'll won't. let them run a little bit before I start getting concerned about throwing black flags or anything. Or I guess DQs, I guess, would be the term as Kazo. Or no, Kazo did not lead that lap. Uh, Thrasher's still able to... What did... What, what, what was that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, 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 I, I seen a, uh, car flying. Oh, my gosh. Dripsy Shive. Uh, that's catastrophic. That is playoff ender right there. We are hoping it wasn't going to happen, especially the season points champion. Um, this could be a, uh, no, they just barreled through. Um, wow, into the catch fence, nowhere to go. Seen a box involved, Evan H involved, and Shift Squid, and that's, that's, uh, wow. Right in the catch fence, that is, wow. Okay. You know, I think the four, no, the 59 once again holding the lead. Uh, wow, that was a terrible crash there in turn one. Uh, we've seen a horrible crash earlier this year with the 82 and the 71. And the 82 ended up upside down. Um, unfortunately, now uh, that was the season points champion. And uh, with that being their fate, um, their playoff hopes were dashed in that 54 team. That is not the way you want to end your playoffs. And unfortunately with this point system, it screws people over like that. So, uh, hence, I know I keep stressing it, but next year we're going to be going to a different system. It's just a bad, bad timing. Really. They were going for a move and there were two below coming in, trying to come in clutch, but the system, but the system wasn't in their favor. And unfortunately will DNF. So, it is now confirmed that uh, uh, we have uh, two two winners still in the in the battle, but really I think only one of them are kind of in contention. I would say, and that'd be the 67, 81 maybe. Uh, we'll see. Uh, uh, let's see. So the 20, all everyone involved in that accident is probably out of the race. The uh, 54, 11, 23, and 91 are all probably likely out of the race, but. Uh, We'll see what happens. They ran another good three laps there. Under green. I'll make sure everyone's paced by next time, then we'll go green. 
timing for that. But uh, Dripsy Shive is now confirmed out of the playoffs um, of these guys, unfortunately. One car that probably deserved it the most to advance, but uh, unfortunately the system is just... It's not, it's not favoring deservedness, just it's, it favors parity, which is great for, this, for the channel, but I think, I think uh, deserving championships, I believe, are more important for the channel, and, uh, or for the series, and we'll, we're going to implement that next year for both NCCRS and CCS, and, um, but uh, we'll see how it goes, I'm frankly a little disappointed with that, but, oh well, take your L's and walk with them, I guess. From league ownership. So far, our race has been alright. Um, Martin Thresh III has pretty much dominated so far. Took the lead early, and uh, so far he is looking in prime position for one. I'm not going to use commentator jinx. I'm not going to finish that, but um, yeah, uh, this top five right now is just really interesting. But again, I won't jinx too much. Don't want to too much intervention in terms of the commentary booth, but uh, let's take a look at our card in the back. Make sure everyone's. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, never mind. I thought the 54 is still running. Damn. Oh, well. Uh, 18 still running. They're the last running car. Uh, the end vehicle is still uh, a concern for them. Uh, we'll just see how they pace, really. Uh, I think everyone's up to the field and running. The uh, reason I am making sure everyone's up to the field, I, am, uh, I turned off um, collisions under caution. Uh, because we had one of those in the NCCRS race, and I had to EQ one of the drivers, so I didn't want to risk it for the cup cup race, so I turned that on, and that, that's why I'm double-checking to make sure everyone is where they need to be before we get um, any restart organized. So, we're going to green lap 14 of 32. We'll see what happens. Um, been a race so far. Uh, something. Yeah, but so far we have 33, uh, about uh, uh, about a nine out of the race and just two accidents, and both of which have taken just about all the dirt. Well, the first, second one took out everyone involved, which is four cars. Uh, it's just turn one of the tracks very dangerous. We've seen it in the Cup Series and NASCAR, and we've seen it in plenty of other leagues, other places. This is a very dangerous track, and a lot of people talk about that. And um, it, it's the crashes are, hor are pretty pretty bad. The 54, that, that was a pretty bad crash. Uh, we'll see if they're doing all right. Uh, unfortunately, uh, your championship hopes are done. But three wins in the season. And I, I, arguably, I'm going to say they got screwed out of this one. The, the last two, last year, they had the most points out of anybody in the season. They still could do that this year. Martin Thresher still could do that as well. And that 50, 59, who's looking in prime position to do so. And looking in prime position to do something that's not been done, I don't believe since, it has only been done once, and that was in 2018, and uh, I believe John McFadden won five times that year. I'll have to double check the history, but Barney Thresher will knock it on the door of a record for most wins in one season right now. Is, uh, we're going to go green once again here. Pace cars are going to dip in, and uh, we'll see what happens here. And Barney Thresher's win is not locked in by no stretch. We still got laps to run. Once again, a good start by the 40, and it's legal. I'm just double checking. Got to make sure that they're not going to make an illegal start, but I'll let that, that looks legal to me. As Kazo is going to be able to take the advantage of, uh, and uh, Bradley Raven, the 28, looking to dive underneath that. I don't think Barney Thresher had that great of a start. Might have spun the tires just a tad. He's going to go right behind that uh, 40 car on the top. I'm going to try to get a run. But that 28 is charging on the bottom. Teammate NH. Uh, in the playoffs, that team gonna try to go low, move him out the way. <laughs> okay, that'll be an interesting team meeting on Monday for sure. As the 40 is able to pull away just a bit, as we got three wide here for a second. The 59 trying to pull, 17 not giving any room in the corners, which is quite a risky ch strat. Seeing they are not locked in, and a single wreck could literally end their hopes at this point. And four wide in the corner would end anybody's hope. And there it is. Wow. Okay. And that's catastrophic. Wow. Caution's out. Uh, once again. 07 got flipped. Uh, 17 still running, and so is the 13. But 
Heavy damage for both the 07 and the 89 are done. Engineers for both those cars. Well, let's see what happened. Um, it's almost as I predicted it. But at 13 to 17 are going back to the back of the pack with those other cars. So it's really going to be down when I update points and how it all figures out. But I think those two have a pretty good points advantage. But again, we'll have to see. Um, it looks like uh, if the 07 causes one, that's going to be a... Uh, that's gonna. This is going to be their final part-time race this season. Um, it looks like... Uh, yeah, he came down. Flipped himself, honestly. Seven, 07 flipped. Add some heavy damage. 13, 17, 89, 42. Gef Jordan also involved. Uh, yikes. That was a nasty wreck. Um, 13 might be done for the day, and that would be... Um, uh, I'm not going to say that it's the 13's playoffs hope or, hopes are done. He has a gap, but... Uh, they ain't looking as shiny as they were coming in. Because he has 37 cushion, which uh, we'll see. And, uh, NH uh, doesn't have as big as a cushion at all. He only has 18 points. So, I don't know. 89 is probably done for the day. 13 is my concern if he's even still running. It looks like he will. I, that'd be my that'd be the best move if I were him. Because he's not really locked in uh, by no stretch. So, uh, we'll see what happens. But again, the 59, once again, I believe, is back in the lead. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's back in the lead because 28 choked into one. And just cost himself a ton of time and a lot of spots. Um, uh, just the overly aggressive would be the correct uh, analysis there. As he's going to head into pit road and repair that damage. Um, that 17, I, I, honestly, I just don't think they had anywhere to go in that 17 car. And, uh. Uh, they're they're done for the day actually um, that's that's not looking good for their playoff hopes um, again I'm not gonna say they're locked out because the 54 is also out um and they came in above the cut line whereas the 54 did not come in above the cut line so it's not looking good for the 17 to make it to the next round um uh, that's unfortunate but that's where it's looking right. That's what it's looking like right now. We'll, we's see how it figures out. 13 still on pit road. Uh, the question is if they're going to be able to continue or not. Uh, 28 is going to be able to easily continue. But 13 with heavy damage in that crash is going to hope to continue. They're not locked in. But uh, they could still DNF and still make it into the next round, theoretically speaking, if they get the right cars to not finish. They're going to take off that rear end there against the on the pit road. Uh, they're going to keep it running. Uh, I think that's the right move. They're just they're going to have to hope for uh, really more yellows at this straight because uh, I'm going to avoid throwing playoff cars out of the race as much as I can. But there's a point where if the cars are too far off pace, uh, it's not much I can do. So, Brandon Nelson uh, snuck his way in the top five, so uh, that's something. We're going to agree next time by. Not this time, next time. And again, fifth, Brian Touch third so far has led most of the laps. Uh, the pole sitter, uh, Brad Stover, I believe, is done for the day. Unfortunate. I will have to check the ticker just to see if anyone else was dubbed out. We know the 17 and the 07 were probably out. Um, and the 42, Gift Jordan, uh, unfortunately, out as well. So that's unfortunately for those guys. But uh, Crazy BGD is still in. And we still have some cars running. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully not more, not, not a whole lot of growth. And, and this is the playoffs. You, you got to make aggressive moves, but sometimes they're costly like that. And then the 20, uh, Bradley Ream just... Overly aggressive into one is uh, this is the closest he's been up front in a while, and uh, he killed the field. So um, that that was dumb, honestly. But we'll uh, see what happens there. Uh, off to that one may be up for uh, discussion of a suspension, but we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, we're going green this time. So 
so we're gonna go green here lap 19 um so i'm thinking about that 13 car they probably have some engine damage after that so they're gonna want to have to turtle this thing for however so many laps to try to finish this thing uh if they can stay on the lead lap for 10 laps I think I'll be alright with it. I won't give them a DQ if they get lapped with two to go or anything, or three to go. But if they get lapped in five laps, uh, or they get caught up in five laps, I got nothing I can do. The other thing is, are we able to go green for that long? So we'll have to see how that goes as well. And I've seen a lot of playoff implications, uh, similar to NCCRS race, so uh, we'll s it's just a lot of things to watch. We're going to have to keep an eye on from a outside perspective restart number three same front row we've had the last two 40 has been getting a little bit jumpy on them restarts especially the last one we'll see if uh we'll see if they stay clean again oh this one is uh that was close i'm gonna let it slide because i could still they didn't get they're still not quite so car okay they're current car length of now in between Actually, not even that still, but uh, it wasn't quite enough for a penalty, in my opinion. So uh, we'll let that slide, but uh, doesn't look like their uh, luck is going to be much better on restarts uh, if we get any more for that factor. See, these two are still battling for the lead right now. Car in the wall in the back is the 48 and not a weeb. He's going to lose a ton of time. I think he just went four wide and uh, he just uh, had to go up the track. I think is what happened. And it looks like uh, everyone's staying with the field pretty well, actually. So it uh, doesn't look like we're going to have to give out any manual DNFs. Uh, it doesn't look like as uh, some cars are staying up the pace decently. So that's pretty good. Back to our leader, 59, who did take it back at the line, who's... Looking to be built different, I'm going to say, at this rate. I know I said I wasn't going to talk much about playoff guys, but it looks like this guy's challenging for the lead. Brandon Nelson hasn't won since Old Spice of 2021. And Gunther in the 76 is going to send him three wide for the lead. He won at Darlington. He's looking for win number two of the season. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! Oh, no. Zine. That's not good. Let's see what happened. Yeah, ran out of room. 03, 40, 76. Nowhere to go. Hate to see it. 2017 champ. That's probably going to be his race. That thing's pouring with smoke. Well, now the question is, does anyone have anything for Barney Thresh the third? Um, and again, Zion, 14 to the good. That's, that's going to be something. We'll see how that and it's just going to be coming down to who, when points are updated. Uh... Yikes. Yay, yay. So that one took out, uh, yeah, 97, 64. I 9 still running, so is the 40, 76, 88, and yeah, I think that was the only other ones that were involved in that. Yay, yay, yay. They run like, uh, three laps under green, and, uh, they do that, they, uh, wreck again.
Make sure the field's caught up. Looks like they are, so we're going to agree in this time. Well, 10 to go. Question now is how much of it are they going to end the green? Uh, in fact, uh, because we're probably going to get overtime, I, I say that. We haven't actually gotten a lot of overtimes this year. I'm going to turn on our overtime option. <coughs> and uh, see how that goes. So uh, this will be the 4 3 start. Only one the Kazo has, or the only one other than the first one that Kazo hasn't been on the front row. That had been the initial start with Brad Stover, who is out of the race. The 40's still in it, but far back. Uh, the 9, uh, Nash Bravo 48, ah, I don't know what to say. He's had a year, <laughs> year and a half. When we talk about coming in clutch, I ain't gonna say anything else. <laughs> Watch that nine car, make sure he don't jump to start. He does the black flag. And I won't I won't give it to him till uh, the earliest convenience and uh, if there's a yellow in between it'll be an L A E O L L. That, that's theoretical. We'll see how he does. Oh yeah, he's good. And I think it is safe to say with all that's uh, been uh, going on. Oh, wow, it's a five car going to the bottom there. Uh, Crazy BGD, I think it's safe to say, is locked into the round of eight at this point. Oh, wow. Full send. Full send, Sean. Full send, Sean Ard. Holy crap. He did the clutch for the round of 16 at, uh, Banish Dale Pauls Jr. He was looking very bad at some point. But Sean Ard full sent it there. And to his success. Now the question is, I think they're going to try to go four wide again here. It's a uh, matter of if they do it or not. Roach thought better. But Sean Art is closing in to the 59. The question is, if he is, is he able to make a pass? 59 has led most of it. He's going to go low here. He's going to send it into turn two. And Sean Art is going to send it. On, in on Barney Thresher the third for the lead here with help from Daniel Pauls Jr. in the 22. Oh, 59 is going to try to get a run here. We'll see who's able to get the lead off the corner. Sean Ard, uh, even the lap led would be helpful. Only thing is they can't go four wide and he was not able to lead that lap. Oh no. Oh. Oh no! Car in the wall! 59! Oh, they weren't able to. Seanard into the wall. He's got to be able to avoid the rest of the field. That's going to be a yellow. Our leader, Barney Thresher III, has crashed from the lead. Who went four wide there? That is going to be a, that's going to be a black flag if that's a non-playoff car that did that. <sighs> no, that was three playoff guys going for one spot. I can't blame anybody on that, but surprisingly enough, I think, uh, or hold on, looks like uh, Roach, surprisingly enough, is going to take the lead, and uh, we're going to have overtime, it looks like, or something of that nature. Roach, Richmond winner, as Barnthurst III quite possibly robbed 
All right, win number five of the season. <coughs> and Sean R. Uh, quite possibly robbed his playoff hopes, but he's still running. So, uh, not all bad news for that 67 car. Uh, he didn't get a whole lot of damage there. He did get some, but not enough to like end his race or nothing. And he's coming in a close pit. Yeah, that's not going to help him any. This race has been chaos, but uh, survival of the fittest, or survival of uh, the sends, I guess you could say. This is all full send, and Sean Art, he went full send, and then uh, someone sent harder, and uh, he's not going to be too happy with... Uh, I would argue that he, it was either Reggie... Fo I, I, I can't really say he was at fault there, because Reggie Fogelman and Paulus, they just had the run, and neither lifted. And, you know, when you're racing for a championship... It's all take no give, and it's cost already some of these guys a playoff championship, uh, choke ch championship hopes for a lot of these playoff guys. But Roach spoiled the party. I don't even know what position he was in prior to this, but uh, he's got three hungry drivers right behind him. Uh, if my calculations are correct, um. Only one of them have a win, or actually, um, surprisingly, only one of them don't have a win, and that is Brandon Nelson, the 03. Granted, he hasn't won since 2021, and he's uh, on a new team, uh, so we'll see who's hungry and what happens. Uh, frankly speaking, um, let's see if the field's caught up. I don't think 67's caught up. Yeah, we're gonna go green. Uh, not this time. Next time, six. We're gonna wait six, seven to catch up. Then we'll go green lap after. He's still in it. We'll count him out. The question is, you gotta get around quite a few guys. He's, uh, well, actually, no, never mind. He's only two below the cut line coming in, so. Uh, he is actually, uh, at this rate, I think, well, shoot, he is in shape, I'll say that. So, um, as, I think it's also safe to say as, uh, so what's the gap between, as our team to... Oh. Hmm, it's going to be something, but if the 22 and the 5 get, like, top 20, I think. Top 20-something. I don't know exact, but if they get top 20-something, uh, they're in. 22 and the 5. Uh, there's a 54 at... Where's the 24? I haven't seen him in a minute. Okay. 97's done. 17's done. 82. Is he still running? He's still running. Yeah, it's just too much. I'm going to have to figure that out a later time. We're going to green lap 30. Be our final attempt at a green flag run. If we can't get this one going, you know the rules. Overtime. 6-6 six, six Roach uh, dominated the Roval, or not the Roval, Charlotte. Um, got the first one of the season after a, honestly, crappy setup. But uh, nonetheless, wins a win for that matter. And uh, he has to win the season. And he might look for one number two today. We'll see what happens. Um, we've seen the leader be successfully able to hold the lead, except until Barney Thresher got wrecked there. He's probably not going to be too happy. But, uh, nonetheless, that's AI racing for you, I guess, uh, or whatever that was in turn one. I'll have to, definitely gonna probably not have Pocono Night as an option for next season. Pocono Day seems to work better. Pocono's just a weird track, as is anyway. You're just gonna have to go through the bumps and uh, hope they figure it out. And, uh, may have to tweak the, uh, I've tweaked the I and I actually quite a bit for this. I don't know what to edit from here, but we'll see if we can get a better AI version of this track if it does get voted next year. 
Uh, Dana Paulus Jr. on the chopping block for Black Flags, which uh, he's a playoff driver, so he can't have that happen. He's going to have to be very careful on the start not to jump it. I'm not saying it would cut his playoff hopes because he's got a pretty decent cushion right now, and uh, even if he did get a Black Flag, uh, he could still, you know, finish the race and uh, have the round of eight in his mind. Oh, uh, we still got some racing to go. Pace cars in for what might be the final time. And we're green here at Pocono. Daniel Paul is going to take a little bit of an edge there. But no jump. So, um, white, or actually I think there are three to go this time. Two to go at the line. Once they hit the white flag, then the, they're going to be racing the checkered. Whether it's going to be yellow checkered or regular checkered. Roach holds the lead. For win number Two to go here at Pocono. They can make it to the white flag. Next uh, next flag will end it. And uh, I don't know if we got a battle for the lead or not, but regardless, Daniel Paul Jr. is all over the back of that 66. Daniel Paul Jr. I believe won at Michigan. Uh you close out our regular season. I just don't know if he's got what it takes. The Roach has got a pretty decent uh, line right here. And we're going to hit the one flag, one lap to go white flag here at Pocono. Next flag ends it. And the two drivers that were last in the playoff standings are second and third on the track right now. Right behind the leader, Roach. Which uh, looking pretty good to win right now. He doesn't have much much uh, pressure from anybody right now. They're battling heavy there for the playoff spots. 22. He's gonna dive it here for a last lap ditch, but I just don't think he has the run. Unless he can dive it here. 66 cuts him off. Roach coming off a turn. What turn four? Uh, turn three at Pocono. And he is going to get win number two of the season. And uh, as for our playoff results, you can make some guesses, but I ain't confirming nothing until I update points in a couple days. Y'all know the rules. Uh, that was something. Uh, anyways, uh, look, this car took forever to finish. Anyways, uh, we didn't have to DQ anybody, so that's good. But unfortunately, uh, we only had 26 cards finish, and a lot of those, a lot of good playoff guys that I like to see in the round of eight. Unfortunately, didn't make it from a paying perspective. But um, I, I'm not confirmed too much, but it's not looking good for a few of those guys. Um, there it is next year, um, and then next year, of course, uh, will be a much more fair system. So uh, we'll cook with that. Next week is Lamar. Don't expect nothing special. Usual road course type stuff. Uh, probably going to be a snoozer. Feel free to watch, though. I do like getting views. Um, I have a Rubber Ducky series you might want to watch if you're into that. Uh, we'll get that worked on. I put that up uh, for instead of Le Mans. If y'all don't want to watch that, it'll probably be a snoozer. Just going to go ahead and that. But the Duck series, episode one, season one, might be worth a watch uh, if I make that in a week. But we'll see how that goes. NCCRS also got their round eight going too. So, um, other than that, um, just solo this time. I uh, didn't have any, uh, no one came in for this one, which is no biggie. I don't mind doing solo. I think it's the first solo I've done in a minute. But regardless, this is Zach103TV, and I'll catch you next time.